Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to see about the exist transformation in Azure Data Factory. So what is the exist transformation and where we can use that? So here we can understand about the exist transformation. So the exist transformation is the row filtering transformation that checks whether your data exists in another source or stream. The output stream includes all rows from the left stream that either exist or does not exist in the right stream. So this is very similar to the exist transformation in the SQL Server with the where exist and where not exist clause. So this is very straightforward transformation. So if it's not clear, so go to the Azure Data Factory and we'll try to see in the practical. So here our requirement is we can see inside the Azure Blob Storage we have these two files. First is the employee file and second is the payroll file. So in the employee file, it is having the data for the employee ID 1, 2, 3 and 4 that we can see. Similarly, if we can go in the payroll file, so it is having the data for ID 1, 2, 3 and 5. It does not have the data for the ID 4. So employee file we are treating as a source file. So we just want to check whether the data is available in the payroll file or not. So we can check by using the exist transformation. So go to the Azure Data Factory. Let me try to add a new data flow here. And here first let me try to add the source. So this source should be your employee source. Now go to the second source and this source is payroll source. So as we have already created these two data sets in the earlier of these videos, if you are following all these videos, then you have seen those. Here we can click on this plus symbol and we can see the option for the exist. So we can click on the exist. So in the exist here we can see like exist one is the output stream name. We can call this exist only and the left stream which is the source one then the right stream which is the source two for the payroll one here the exist type so either we want to check the common data or does not have the exist so we can use any one of these so let me cover one by one so first i want to check the common data between these two sources here we can see the custom expression so under the custom expression we can see here we need to write the expression we can open the expression builder so under the expression builder we can select like we want to match with the source id 1 and source id source 2 employee id so this is we want to match either we can write it from here or we can directly select that by unchecking this we can select the column names here like the employee id from the source 1 and employee id from the source 2 so either way we can do that here we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it so this time it will be having id 1 2 and 3 because only these three ids are matching source 1 and source 2 so as we can see id 1 2 and 3 because in the source 1 id 3 is coming two times so this is the exist in the same fashion we can go and try to select the does not exist go to the data preview and try to refresh it so once we refresh it so this time it will have only id4 because id4 is not available in the source 2 now if you want to load this in the destination then we can add the sync here and we can add this in the destination side so this is all about the exist transformation if you have any doubt, then you can comment your questions in the comment box. I will try to respond there. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.